friends, it's me Stace. Uh, today is going to be, I guess, a glass edging part two. On Tuesday, I showed you how to do this with the Cricut Joy, just cutting vinyl out, applying the armor edge, and then letting it sit. The edging turned out really nice on both jars. My plan was to put these in the bathroom and have it hold Q-tips and cotton balls, but of course they are white, so I'm not able to see the design. So, I have this rub and buff. I'm going to go and try this on it. So I'm going to get my glove, and I have two different colors here. I'm not sure which one is darker. Uh, one is called Gold Leaf, and the other is called Antique Gold. So I'm actually going to open them up to see which one is the darker of the two. I've had these for a while. I'm just going to put some right there. Okay, so that's the Gold Leaf. This is the Antique Gold. So we'll see which one is darker. I think the antique gold I'm going to go with. All right. So we're going to go with the antique gold. And I have paper towels here next to me. All righty. So I'm just going to basically put it on my finger. And we're going to try this. All right, so I'm going to bring, I guess you can see it right there, right? You can see it? Let me see if I can zoom you in some. A little bit. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and put this on there. Ooh, there is an odor to it. Okay, so I'm just going to rub this in. I'm not sure I, I use way too much, so I only need like a little bit of this stuff. Okay, and I'm going to see what happens if I wipe it off when it's wet. Oh, okay. This is why I wear gloves, see? But I can definitely see the design better, right? Yeah, Brenda um, mentioned this to me. I was like, oh, maybe I could try it. So will it come off the other part of the glass? I guess I just got to rub a little bit harder. To get it off. Yeah, it's coming off. There is a strong smell to it though. Wow. Look at that. It does look nice. Right? I'm going to set that one aside and we're going to do the other one. Again, you only need a little bit of this stuff. I use way too much. and just go ahead and put it on there. I guess it just adheres to the etching or the etching grabs it and then it just wipes off. Okay, so I'm rubbing it in pretty good with firm pressure there. And I'm gonna get another paper towel. All right, and we're just gonna wipe it off. I'm guessing I could probably go in with a second coat, right, to make it be a little bit darker, but isn't that pretty? I am loving this. Okay, so glad I did not throw this away. Um, funny story, hubby got this out of the trash, um, my gosh, at the other house. So it was a few years ago, and I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll save it because I don't know what to do with it. Um, then he got, he got this, he got metallic paints and a bunch of other things, but I thought this has a purpose for something. So I guess I found its purpose. This is my second coat on this one here. And we're gonna get a clean paper towel again. Now I'm not sure about it being washable. Um, you know, these are my bathroom, so it's not like they're gonna be used all the time, you know? When I clean, I just take like Windex and I just wipe them down that way. Okay, did it make it any darker? I don't think, let me see. You see that one there? That was two coats. I don't really think it made it any. I don't really think it made it any darker. Maybe allowing allowing this to cure, maybe, and then coming back to it. I really like this though. I just got to clean up on the outside right there. Gotta put it down so I can really rub on it. That 
did a pretty good job. I really do like that. This makes glass, this takes glass edging to me to a whole new level. All right, let's take the glove off. Let's close this cap up. I'm shocked it has such a strong smell. All right, let's grab my cotton balls and see if we can see them through there. I hope there's a Q-tip in there too. Much better, much better, right? Love that. So thank you, Brenda, for the idea. I think it worked really, really well. Um, you know, again, I might go back in with a second coat once this kind of like dries and cures a little bit, maybe. Um, I'll have to read the instructions in the tube, but of course it's like in super small print. But anyway, there you have it, my friends. Glass etching take two using the rub and buff on it. Again, you can see it right there, right against the white and right there. Love that. All right, any questions at all, my friends, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.